Hey y'all and welcome back. Today I thought I'd give you an update from outside. It's such a beautiful day. I don't know if you can hear the birds, but there's so many birds right now and it's so pleasant and nice to be out here. So I started reading Hummingbird Salamander by Jeff Vandermeer. After reading Annihilation, Jeff Vandermeer is an author that I became very interested in. So I'm reading his newest release. I did request it off of NetGalley to read as an ARC and I still hadn't got into it because life got in the way, but you know, I'm finally picking it up and that's what matters. I'm about, let's see, 15% through and you know, I really like it. I didn't know what to expect from it. The title is very vague, Hummingbird Salamander, like what is that even about? So it's sort of like a climate thriller with like a conspiracy type of plot. Super interesting. So this is told from the perspective of the main character and she is unnamed and, and from there she doesn't really even give names to anybody in her life. She's super paranoid and you can tell right from the beginning. The writing style at times mirrors this paranoia that our main character is feeling. So the writing can feel a little jarring at times but intentional because it is furthering the plot and adding to that feeling of foreboding and that feeling of paranoia and sort of claustrophobia. I started reading it last night and by the time I put it down my heart was like pumping and beating because it made me paranoid. Um, so anyways, what is this book about? So we have this unnamed main character, right, who is given a key to a storage box and you know like any normal person would do when you're given a key by a random stranger you go to the address and you take the key and she found a hummingbird in a box and it's a taxidermied hummingbird and she finds out that this type or, or species of hummingbird is extinct and this was left by someone called oh i forgot her name already and this box was left to her by a woman who is presumed to be an ego terrorist so i haven't gotten very far in but but our main character works for a firm and is very savvy with computer use and she starts you know researching into this hummingbird and into the woman and she realized that someone broke into her company's server to track the information that she was trying to find so definitely something spicy is going on there there's definitely a reason she should be paranoid as far as we can tell still building i still don't know what's going to happen but i like it like i mentioned the writing style can be a bit jarring i feel like this is going to be a book that is going to be very polarizing you're either going to really like it or you're probably going to hate it there's a lot of sense of foreboding here another thing that i want to mention it's that it's also very um observational in my experience jeff vandermeer's works are very like about discovery and exploration and you can definitely tell in the writing so as this main character is learning more about the hummingbird we ourselves are learning more about hummingbirds and you know we learn about the phylogenetics and we learn about their wingspans and their mating rituals and we learn about their travel patterns which to be honest i find fascinating i love that we're sort of getting this so non-fiction feel to it like this is an actual person who's researching into this like conspiracy plot thing yeah so i'm really enjoying it and like I said, what better way to start off this video than outside in nature with the birds when we're talking about hummingbird salamander. I still don't know what the salamander part is about. I guess we'll find out. So I'm hoping to finish this over the next couple of days. I will go ahead and update you at the 50% mark and let you know how I'm feeling. Yeah, so don't forget to feed your pets and water your plants. So I'm about 50% done with hummingbird salamander, so I thought I'd just go ahead and give you a quick update. So I'm still enjoying the book very thoroughly, but about around the 15% mark, it starts to slow down a little bit and we get a little bit more character development. We get more insights into the motivations of our character who is still unnamed and remains to be unnamed. It has this very like espionage type of vibe and I don't really read many espionage novels so this this is a first for me so it's very like eco-terrorism espionage type of novel and those are the kind of vibes that you get there's a lot that's unraveling but it's being done at a very slow pace 
this is a book that is slowly dropping hints for you and it just feels like it's slowly building that momentum little by little and it's going to have an explosive crash at the end that's how it feels like so far i don't know if that's actually what's going to happen but i can see jeff vandermeer very delicately unveiling and leaving hints here and there for you to try to piece this all together i love that this feels like a mystery that you're solving yourself but it also feels very grand and claustrophobic and a very like neurotic at times i i don't know how i feel about it yet i am enjoying it it's been a good ride it's been fun the pacing actually i think could use a little bit of work like I mentioned earlier, around the 15% mark, it's starting to slow down just a little bit, but it's because he's dropping hints and clues and we're getting more of that character development. So after we get around the 30% mark, it starts to pick up again. And I think it's just again because he's trying to build this character and we're trying to get insights into her motivations. So I'm liking it. 50% way through, going to continue tonight. So I'll go ahead and update you at the 75% mark and we'll see how it goes. Very different from me, crime, thriller, espionage, sort of eco-terrorism. Thriller? Is there a word for these types of books? Eco-thriller? Is that what it is? I think this is what it is. But it also has elements of like sci-fi and other stuff. It's weird. It's a genre-bending book, which is what the types of books that I really, really, really enjoy. Yeah, so... I'm making my fiance hold my phone right now so I can give you an update and he looks like he's about to crash. My arm is tired. <laughs> His arm is, is tired. So I will update you at the 75% mark. We love these noodles. I use them all of the time um, for lunch. I just boil them and then I cook some veggies on the side and flavor them. So good. This is what we have so far in our bag. Okay, so I just finished reading Hummingbird Salamander and I forgot to update you at the 75% mark. I just finished it. I ended up just you know, plying right through it. I forgot that I was reading and then all of a sudden I was at the end. And, huh, I don't, re I'm still processing my feelings. Like I literally just finished it five minutes ago. I think I'm leaning towards like a four or a 4.5. It's not nearly a perfect book. I adore Jeff Vandermeer's writing and I love the way that he constructs worlds but also interweaves very important topics. And it's still a very good in-depth story. But this one is so different from anything else that I've read by him. So we do follow our MC who remains unnamed throughout the entire story, which isn't unusual for him in Annihilation. You know, we have our main character who is just the biologist. We never find out her name. So it's similar in that scope. And this is kind of set up in like journal entries. We're following Jane through her perspective and, and things are being revealed to us as she's encountering them. So we're getting a glimpse of everything that is going on through her brain, but she's like, telling us in like a written method and in this way people will remember her even after she's died so our main character is following i'm sorry my dogs are barking so our main character is following all of these clues that this character called savannah is leaving for her savannah was accused of being an eco terrorist and while this is going on there's also a lot of chaos that is going on in the world like rising sea levels you know pollution deforestation and all of this other stuff and we're getting glimpses in this by like little like droplets of news or by like statements like everyone knows that this is going on and i just thought that the way he starts to build this sort of decaying world was spectacular just the way he weaves everything in like his world building i think is fantastic and i really enjoyed this book but 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 i know that his stuff is not for everybody so jeff vandermeer is like this like new weird writer and i think it's because his books aren't easily classifiable like yeah he's writing sci-fi dystopian fiction and speculative fiction and even though he's using some of these like 
tropes that are very present in like thrillers or in other horror sci-fi books. He doesn't use them in a way in which they're typically used, but he's also not inverting them. He just uses them in his own way to create something new, which is really strange. I'm not really sure how I feel about the ending, and like I mentioned, I'm still sort of processing my thoughts. I kind of feel like he did try to take on a lot with this book, but I feel like he developed it just well enough to where it was enjoyable and it wasn't too much information. I also want to point out though that even though Hummingbird Salamander introduces a lot of questions about our world and how it's decaying and what we're doing as humans, it still feels personal because as the reader we're following the story through like journal entries from our main character and we're slowly trying to unravel this puzzle that is left behind for her and because we're also exploring her own life and how all of these events led to these consequences it feels like a very personal account of the main character but also a very personal account of our earth. It's a little difficult to explain. I know it sounds kind of weird but that's sort of how it feels. So would I recommend for you to pick it up? Um, that depends. Have you read Annihilation and did you like it? If you did, you may be a little bit surprised by this one because it's, it, it, I feel like it's a little bit tighter than Annihilation. It's not as like surreal. It's definitely more organized so depending on whether you liked Annihilation because of that, you might like this one more or you might not like it at all. Now, if you've never read any deep by Jeff Vandermeer, I don't know if this is a good place to start. Like I mentioned, it does feel a little bit more organized, but there's also this like conspiracy sort of plot to it. So if you like conspiracy or if you like eco thrillers, this is definitely one to pick up because this is definitely what that is. So I also read at the end of the book that a percentage of the royalties for this book is going to conservation groups that help fight against animal trafficking and stuff like that. So I thought that was really cool. So right now I'm going to go choose another book to read and I will update you on that one. Let me know if you've read Jeff Vandermeer before and if you like his books and how you feel about them.